Hello, Soul Cooking with T. So give me a second here. I'm trying to go live on multiple platforms. Don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying. Hope that you're having an amazing day. So let's see. Okay, I couldn't get it. That's okay. So we're just going to do this right here. Hold on just a second. Let me get, let us get live let me get my phone. So as you can see, you see my sign. I am so happy. Thank you for those that are joining us live and those that will catch the replay. Give me a second. Let me get over here to Soul Cooking with Tea. I should have been ready, but I was. But it wouldn't allow me to go where I wanted to go on our YouTube channel, but that's okay. I'll be able to post it uh, there later. So now I can see your comments. So just let me lay my phone down here. And show you our new sign. Hello, hello. Thank you all for joining us here live in Soul Cooking with Tea. As you can see, my sign says Soul Cooking with Tea family. Listen, hello, hello. Thank you all for coming in and joining me here for just a quick pop in. As my title says, it's a Southern calendar day. If you're joining me here live, Tracy, I see you here with me. Thank you. Let me know if you can hear and see me well today. Listen. I'm excited. I have a new sign. I have a new sign. Hopefully you all can see me well. We have new lighting. We have a lot going on here in Soul Cooking with Tea. Um, but I am thankful. My friend and my sister friend, uh, my birthday, you know, I celebrated my birthday. Thank you for all that. Those that uh, call, send a text, send a cash app, those that drove by, those that were there for my surprise on the rooftop. Thank you so much for the celebration and all the gifts. This was one of my gifts, and I am so thankful uh, to my my sister friend, Tracy Montgomery, that's here with me live. Make sure you check her out, Tracy by Design. Also, check her out. Her and her husband have a catering company. It's called Montgomery's House. Make sure you check them out. And so, we have a new sign. We have a new sign and I am so excited. So let me put my sign back. So my sign says Soul Cooking with Tea Family. Hello, hello. Uh, we are having barnyard, we are having corn, and we are having cab. So if you know what barnyard is, put it in the feed. If you know what cab is, put it in the feed. Let me know. My southerners, those that are from the south, or maybe you have family that's from the south and you know what a barnyard is. You know what a cab is, and we're having corn. So let me know. Let me know if you know exactly. Let me put my sign down. Let me wash my hand. Tracy, that's right, Tracy. It is chicken. Let me wash my hands right quick. She got it. It is chicken. Yes. Oh, it reads backwards. I'm sorry. So I have to learn how to do it. My sister lets me know that it was red. It's backwards. Uh, but it says, so cooking with tea family. And it says barnyard, corn, and cab. So you have to let me know if you know. Tracy got it again, girl. You've been you've been around in Southerners a lot. So you already know what we're having. So we're having cabbage. We're having some home fresh corn off the cob. Hello, hello. Thank you all for joining me here live. Uh, and we're having cabbage, corn, and we're going to have some fried chicken. But I'm not doing the chicken right now because I want it hot when we get ready to eat. But I am doing the cabbage. I've already started. I have some onions. Hello, hello. Thank you all for joining me. Uh, if you would, take this time and share it out. Tell your friends about Soul Cooking with Tea. And that we are live here uh, in Soul Cooking with Tea. So uh, I already have to the side. I have um, some sweet onions. And I have some... Uh, thick sliced bacon already uh, almost ready uh, for me to put the cabbage in. I try to go ahead and pre-do some things, you know, so I don't hold you long. So I'm going to get my cabbage. I've already washed it. So here is my cabbage. And, you know, remember I've talked about making sure uh, you use, you know, if you have color coded knives, if you don't, that's okay. But have Pacific knives for Pacific things. So I have a green knife. And this knife is for any vegetables. Any vegetables that I need to slice, dice in the kitchen. I already have a green knife. And then also, let me sit if I can. Let me sit this to the side. I was trying to make sure. Listen, it's been a minute 
since I've been on with you all. So I was trying to make sure I had everything set up. So again, I talked about having color-coded uh, cutting boards. And so I have green, which is for any vegetables. You can do red, purple, whatever color you, you know, want to do. Just make sure you have it color-coded so that way you're not cross-contaminating anything. So I have a fresh cabbage here. I've already washed it. And so all I'm going to do is I need to cut the heart out a little bit. So we're having fresh cabbage. And I um, haven't had some cabbage in a minute. And so I woke up this morning as a southerner. Listen, sometimes you plan out your meal, you plan out your day. Uh, but today I decided, you know what? I want a little cabbage. I'm um, missing home. So I decided, you know what? I can have home right here in my kitchen. And so I thought I would just come by and share it with you all. And so we're going to have some cabbage, some fresh corn, and some fried chicken wings. And I think I may, you know, because you can't have cabbage and not have a little cornbread. So, let me show you what my onions, oh yeah, it's ready. So, let me show you what it looks like. So, you'll be saying, oh, she burned it. No, it's not burned. It's not burned at all. It's just like I need it to be. Hello, hello. It's just like I need it to be. Um, so that brown dark part is the scum and so when the cabbage get in there and, and it starts to heat up that's all of the seasonings that I need so let me turn my eye up on my grill I have a side grill let me see if I can turn it a little bit so that you all can see my grill maybe there's my grill I have my grill right here on the table and so I got my cabbage I'm cutting it up so hopefully you all are having an amazing day. Thank you all for joining me live. So one thing I learned from my grandmother and the women on our street, those that cook, listen, you don't need this hard part. So what you do is you just peel that off just like that. And you're just going to disregard because you don't need this. This is hard. You don't want that in your cabbage because it doesn't cook well, doesn't taste well. And so you definitely do not want that in your cabbage. And so you just want to, so I'm just going to roll this up. And I'm just going to just dice it a little bit. Uh, I've noticed that when I go to my grocery store to get cabbage, it's very seldom that I can find the green part. So what I've started to do at some of the grocery stores, I've asked the, the produce man, like, do you have the green part from the lettuce? Because they, for some apparent reason, they throw that away. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just people in California don't like it. But as a southerner, you know, you always ask something that you may need from your butcher. Or things you may need from the person in the produce section. So, you know, you just ask. And so, I cut up a little cabbage. Okay, now it's getting warm. So, I've already washed my cabbage. So I'm just going to put it in. I haven't added any seasonings or anything. I'm just going to fill my pot up with that cabbage. Get all my cabbage. Got to have it all. The green, the brown, it doesn't matter. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining me here in Soul Cooking with Tea. We're having a southern kind of day. For those that are new, welcome. I am Tawana Carlton, your host of Soul Cooking with Tea. Okay, so I got my cabbage on. So, you would say, why not get a cup? Because I need to add a little water while it is steaming. So let me turn that up a little bit. Listen, I'm from the South. Sometimes we don't measure. Except, remember, I said, except when we are baking cakes or pies or cookies. You have to have the exact measurement. But because I'm steaming some cabbage, and that's what I'm doing. I'm steaming and kind of frying at, a, at the same time. So right now, you may can hear it if I be quiet. You can hear the cabbage. That's the cabbage of frying in the pot. I'm going to slide this over in a little bit so that you can see. So instead of using a measuring spoon, I'm just going to put me a little water in the top. Because I just need that to steam and fry at the same time. So I'll show you. If it'll go around. So I'm only using just a little water. I don't want to pull it out so you can see. So it's just a little bit. Because I need it to steam.
I know you heard it. I'm going to put the top on it. That's it for the cabbage. Let me move it out of the way. Got my cutting board here. So, like I said, we are having fresh corn. So I'm quite sure some of you all have seen me um, do my show. And I've had fresh corn. What I thought today, why not come on? Because we have new followers here on Facebook. And we just want to make sure we have some new followers on our YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed to Soul Cooking with T's YouTube channel, make sure you go over today uh, and check us out. So, I wanted to come on, like I said, and show you again about doing fresh corn. It is messy. So, if you like, you know, when you're doing this, um, let me get my garbage can that's sitting right here. So, it can be real messy. Like, real messy. Uh, my, hello, t my brother-in-law, Terry, says, I'm taking notes. Okay, listen, brother-in-law, can't wait to get back to Georgia so we can have some of that barbecue and get out on the grill. So he said he is taking notes. And so this is all you have to do to the corn. Like I say, I'm going to pull my garbage can in front of me. So don't think that I'm just being nasty and throwing stuff on the floor. I'm not. I'm throwing it right in my garbage can. And so what I'm doing is taking the hairs off. Um, growing up, we, you know, our, our grandmother would be uh, showing us how to do it. And she would be like, take the hairs off. And we'd be like, well, what are you talking about? And we didn't know that the little white parts, that's what they call the hairs of the corn. And so you get off as many as you can. And so you may still see a few on there. So I get off as much as I can. Now, my grandmother would take a knife. And she would take that knife and those extra hairs that we didn't get when we pulled the corn off like this. She would take a little knife with a little sharp uh, point to it. And she would get all of it off. Now, sometimes, um, just depending on, you know, how tight it is, you could do it like that. And a lot of the hairs would come off. And so I've learned so many different ways uh, to get the hairs off of the corn. You will sometimes when you're doing this and making fresh corn, because that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to fry some corn. Uh, you will still have some, you know, in your corn it's okay it's just a southern thing and it's and, and it's very good because if you get it cleaned enough all right you won't have any so again thank you all for those that are joining me live and those that will catch the replay it's just a southern kind of day i got up and i was thinking of home was missing home was missing our family and i said you know what why not cook a southern meal this morning and so I got up and I was like okay I was at my local Walmart uh, we have corn this is this corn here and I'll show it to you again up close uh, it's not all yellow it is a sweet what they call a sweet corn here on the west coast and it has white uh, it's white and yellow and so they call this a sweet corn uh, it you don't always get uh, straight yellow you can either get white or you may get this kind of corn. The white is okay, but the yellow and white is much more sweeter uh, than just the straight white corn. But when we can find um, yellow corn, we make sure we buy as much as we can, you know, if we're going to eat it. Uh, you also, and I'll show you when, I, when I'm preparing it. Uh, how you can have corn during the winter months. So I had some corn in the the freezer <laughs> for the winter months. However, we ate our corn during the winter months and probably ate some of it before because we love uh, fried corn. Fried corn has always been a part of my family. Uh, you could also, if you wanted to, you could take it the way I'm going to do it. You could also add fresh onion to it, which I will add onion. And I like a little sweet onion. You could use a little Vidalia onion. Um, my family, sometimes we would make a corn pudding. So a corn pudding is that instead of frying it, you will put it in the oven. And so when you put it in the oven, you would add um, butter. And then you could also add red pepper, yellow pepper, green pepper. 
uh, to it. You'd have to add an uh, egg. Uh, you're also going to add flour to it because you want to make sure, you know, it thickens up. Uh, I like to use evaporated milk. That gives it a, a, a better, just a good flavor instead of just using regular uh, milk. Listen, we need all the fat. We're not trying to uh, cut down when we're doing this. Now, if you are trying to, you know, the calories, you're trying to watch your calories, uh, just if you use evaporated milk, I think they have one uh, that's like a 2%. So you don't want, want don't want one that has so much you know fat content, but it's just truly up to you. As a southerner, listen, we gotta have the flavor. Okay, so I got my corn. Let me clean off my spot now. Get some of that those those hairs off. Oh, the cabbage, the cabbage is getting ready for me to stir. So. Let me move things around just a little bit because I want you all to see the cabbage. So, okay, let me get my hot pads. So, soon we'll be coming to you. We have our own hot pads. We'll be having our own wooden spoons. And so I'll be making the announcement soon so that you all can purchase uh, Soul Cooking with Tea's products. So here is our cabbage. Oh, yes. So before I stir it, let me let you see what it looks like. So, oh, there it is. There it goes. And so I haven't put any seasonings or anything in it. So what I'm going to do, ooh, I wish we had smellers so you all could smell how this cabbage, ooh, it won't be long before it is ready. So what I need to do while I have it here in front of you all, oh, yes, let me show it to you one more time because... It is almost ready because I can always um, turn it off. You have to watch your cabbage because you don't want your cabbage to be mushy. So you can always just take a spoon, a fork, I'm sorry, a fork and stick it in it. But from being from the South and watching my grandmother, I can tell by the way it stirs how tender it is and how I want it to be. Okay, so that's what it's looking like. So you see all the steam is still cooking. So I'm going to leave the top off for just a second because now I need to season it. So I have a little sugar and I need to put a pinch. So you all can see just a pinch because you don't want them sweet. You just need it, just that flavor. That's just to bring out the flavor. Now I like a little garlic salt. It's up to you. You may not like garlic salt. You may want a little um, regular salt. That's just totally up to you. I had all my seasonings. That's why I'm turning to the side. And I like a little black pepper. Now, you can add a little more oil. You can add some vegetable oil you may have. But because I had some already in here with the bacon. And the bacon made a little bit of oil. I'm good with that. Oh, yes, y'all. So let me show it to you one more time so you can see. Now, that is a steamed slash fried cabbage. So it's almost done. So I'm going to take that. Let me get my hot pad. And I'm just going to push my cooker back over to the side so that can keep cooking. And get my cut board back. Let me wash my hands again because we're about to do this corn. Did y'all see my sign in the back? You see my sign? I am excited about my sign. Hello, hello. Thank you all for joining. So, let me get my bowl. Have a bowl. Have a knife. So, I'm using this knife. Now, I encourage you, if you have never... Let me turn the cabbage down. If you have never done... Um, fried corn. The thing that I suggest to you is that you do it outside somewhere where you don't mind it getting messy because this can get messy. Uh, my sister says I need that sign. Donna, thank you Donna for joining. Donna said yes girl and then so I'm trying to see your messages as you are putting them in. So thank you all for joining. So um, like I say 
if you don't mind your kitchen or you getting dirty or messy, then do it inside. But if not, I encourage you to go outside. Let me see about my fan because I have my fan on because it is hot here on the West Coast. So give me one second, guys. Let me readjust. Like I said, it is hot. It's raining here, but it's hot. Um, like I said, to go outside, I'm used to doing it inside. I'm used to, ha you may see me corn on my glasses, corn on my clothes. But listen, that's what it's all about. Let me turn these cabbages completely off. Now, let me show it to you one more time before I get ready to. Oh, yeah. Woo. The cabbage are ready, y'all. Oh, yes. Like I said, I wish we had smell or something because, guys, you all would love just to smell. And I have my window open, so I'm quite sure my neighbors are wondering, like, who is doing that cooking? So let me get it in the other hand so you all can see. Okay. So there's the cabbage. The cabbage are, the cabbage is ready. I'm talking about southern style. This is southern cabbage. Ready. So now I have to do now is do my corn. And that's what we're about to do now. So, I have a small knife. It's a knife that I can grip and hold. So, the first thing I want to do, I have a bowl. And so, what I'm doing is taking off. You can see, I'm just taking. Donna says, girl, I smell it all the way in Georgia. <laughs> yes, let's Donna. So, see, as you can see, I'm just taking off the top kernels. You see, the kernels are just falling off. As I told you, it pops. It goes everywhere. My grandmother used to would sit in the kitchen and do it. And then majority of the time, she would sit on the steps uh, with her pan and her apron on to, to cut the corn off. So that's all I'm doing. I'm just taking it off the husk put and just taking it off just a little bit by a little bit. Make sure you hold it tight. You don't want a knife too big because you do not want to cut yourself because as you can see how I'm holding it. I told you it's pop, it pops everywhere. Okay, so now... I'm going to turn the back of the knife. So this is the sharp end. This is the dull end that's, you know, that you hold. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all that juice out. All the juice. So I'll show you what it looks like when I finish. We're trying to get all the juice because that's what we need when we get ready to fry the corn. Like I told you, it makes a mess. So that's what it looks like when you finish the ear of corn. That's what it looks like. It's it's very messy, very messy. I hope it, hopefully it's not getting on the camera that you all can't see me. Donna said, girl, they don't know uh, nothing about that Southern kid. <laughs> girl, no. That's why, you know what, Donna? Uh, I'm so thankful that, you know, I sat down and took time to learn uh, from my grandmother, my mother, the women in my community, you know, just watching. You know, sometimes you didn't say anything. You would just be in the kitchen and you would just watch them, you know, cook. Um, and I'm so thankful because coming here to the West Coast, it is very hard to find good Southern food, like good Southern food, uh, where, uh, you know, as they say, it makes you slap your mama or, it, or make your tongue slap the roof of your mouth. You know, those are just things that we would say down South. Uh, and so I'm so thankful that I learned uh, to cook because if not I would have to be calling home to you all saying hey can you overnight me so and so and so that is you know uh, and making sure it was overnighted uh, that I could cook it or somebody was cooking it or sending it to me but you know it's th I'm just so thankful that I know how to get in the kitchen and uh, make homemade corn fry me some corn when I want some corn or when I want some cabbage fried cabbage you know, I know how to get in here. I told you it's messy. And uh, and get in here and be able to do it. And being able to, you know, make homemade stuff. And not always having to run to the restaurant. Uh, yes, cooking, uh, southern cooking, any kind of cooking uh, takes a long time. And so I understand. So that's what it looks like. You see, my hands are messy. Um, anytime you're cooking, you know, it doesn't matter yes it does take time yes you do have to plan uh, but one thing about it is if you plan it out it will work out you know to the good for you um, but it does you know 
cooking southern style you see stuff is popping everywhere <laughs> uh, but cooking southern style uh, does take time because you're par preparing it with love so I got some of it off I'm gonna get some of this juice I only need a little bit, but I got all the corn. So I could take some of this and boil it if I wanted to. So that I could have some boiled corn. But I think today, we're just going to have straight uh, fried corn. So guys, I thank you all for jumping in with me today. Tell your friends about Soul Cooking with Tea. We're not signing off, but just tell your family and friends about us. Um, we're back. We're up and we're running. Uh, thank you all for being so patient with me because I have had some health challenges with my foot. Uh, it's doing much better. Gina says, my sister says, I, she said, can't buy a frozen bag of corn. <laughs> no, I haven't tried using it as frozen. I just try to do it, you know, as fresh as I possibly can. I'm not sure if the uh, frozen corn would work. But the only way, you know, you'll know is you have to, you know, try it and see. So, like I said, you do get messy. I'm quite sure I have corn all over me, but that's okay. Because that lets you know I'm, a, I'm one of them southern cooks. I'm not cute. not trying to be cute in the kitchen. I'm just trying to get this meal together and have a good time. So, Donna says, yes, but it's not. Okay, so Donna says she's tried it. She said, but it's not the same. She said, I want, my sister says, Gina says, I want the easy way out. <laughs> no, my sister. My sister is, is born and raised here in California. So she says she wants the easy way out. So sister, when I come to visit, we'll have to do some fresh corn so that you can have fried corn southern, the southern way and not the easy way. I have to show you. And then that way you can show my nieces. And my nephew, how to make corn. And listen, that way you can take a break. Uh, Donna says you can't be cute. That's right, Donna. You cannot be cute in the kitchen. Listen, it's no way to be cute in the kitchen. Uh, just go in, you know, do your best. You see, I, I got all dressed up for you all. But listen, I'm doing this corn. Um, just, you know, sharing with you all. And I know that I was going to get corn everywhere. It would be popping everywhere. And like Donna said, you can't be cute in the kitchen, but I'm, I'm going to do my best. My sister says, who's coming to dinner? Nobody's coming to dinner. I just decided this morning I was missing home, missing my family, and just missing just some home cooking and decided, you know what? Even though I can't be home, I can bring home to me. And so I decided I'm just going to do some southern food today. And so that's what we are doing. And just, just was a little homesick. That's it. Sometimes you get homesick. And so when I get, it's not good for me to get homesick because then I want to cook. I want to bake. I want to do all that. And I don't need any extra pounds. None. I put on enough. Um, my sisters, I miss you too. Listen, you need to come to California. Come on, come on visit here on the West Coast. And so I don't need to put on any extra pounds. I need to lose the ones that found me. I didn't find them. They found me. And so I need to get them off as soon as possible. So this is my last one. So again, just you want to get all the juice out. All the juice out. I can remember our grandmother would be sitting on uh, in the kitchen and she would have her pan. She would be sitting in the chair. She wouldn't. She didn't do it standing up. She would have her pan and I have her bowl that she, she, she would do the corn in. And she would be sitting in the kitchen with that pan in between her legs. I don't know how she held that pan and did this corn at the same time, but she did it. Uh, and yes, it did pop. Yes, it did. So, this, let me wash my hands. Let, let me wash some of this off. Okay. So, yeah, she held that bowl in between her legs and she cut the corn, cut the corn and shaved it all off. So now this is what it looks like as a finish. She said, my sister says, come on to Georgia. My other sister, Gina says, miss you too. Anytime you can come, anytime you can come up the freeway. <laughs> 
So this is what the coin looks like. Listen, we all have to you, know, you all have to come to visit here in Cali. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little flower. So why do you ask me why I need to add the flower? The flower gives it a, a thickening. So as you can see, I told you when I measure, I just reached in. I got some in my cup. I'm, I'm not going to use all of that. So see, I didn't use it all. Didn't measure. I just reached in and got some. My grandmother and them would just reach in with their hands or if they had, um, because the hands were always clean. Or if they had a measuring cup. You always, that's why you see in mine, I have my measuring cup. So they always kept a measuring cup in. So I'm going to add a little sugar. So the flour also helps bring out the juices and thickens, thickens it. So I'm just going to add, didn't measure, this is a cup. I'm just going to add a little sugar. So as you see, I didn't use it all. Because as I'm cooking this, I can add more sugar to it. Now, uh, I'm going to add a little black pepper. Just a little bit. I'm going to add, as you can tell, I love my garlic salt. I'm going to add a little garlic salt. And I, I think I talked to you all about, I love paprika. So I found this one at my local raw store. So it's smoked paprika, garlic, chili, and chives blend. So I like to try different things. And so I'm going to add a little bit of that. Yes, as we as Southerners, people are always talking about, oh, they all people always use a lot of paprika. Yes, we do. In the South, we, we love our paprika. Uh, we like different blends. We like different kinds. Now, like I said, got to have that carnation because this is what I grew up on. Okay, let me see the comments. Uh, my sister said Gigi would make it this way too. It's made with love. Yes, that's exactly right. No, Donna says no measuring needed. So that's true, Gina. Um, one thing about it, uh, like I said, we don't measure. We just do it by eye. Uh, I learned that way. I still do that way because that's what my grandmother did. So I'm just going to pour a little bit in. Let me get me a spoon. Oh, yeah. I'm going to show it to you all. So, yeah, we hardly ever measure. Uh, carnation, yes, Donna. Carnation is the best. Listen, there's nothing like a little carnation milk. I love carnation milk. I don't know about nobody else, but when I make a cake, homemade. That's homemade. Not just bought cake. Homemade. Uh, we have to have carnation. So, I'm going to let you see it. So, what I got to let this do... Is I'm going to let it sit so some more of the juices from the corn can come out. Thank you, Donna. Thank you all for joining me here in Soul Cooking with Tea. Listen, like I told you, it ain't cute being in the kitchen. So let me show it to you. I don't want to drop it and spill everything. So as you can see, the juices are starting to come. Let me pull back. There it is. So that you can see. So you can see. See, the juices are starting to come in. And so that's what we want. I want it to get it ready so I can get it frying. Woo. Listen, y'all. I don't know about y'all, but I'm already hungry. So let me get a second here so I can clean off some stuff. Let me get some stuff out the way. And I think that we will be able to start frying our corn. Just give me a second, guys. Let me get some more ingredients here. Get everything. Let me get a skillet. Okay. All right, we're going to get the table here. Let me let me move this so that you all can see me get this corn together. All right, we got corn. I'm talking about guys, we got corn everywhere. So give me a second so I can get this corn up off my table. Cuz I got corn that has popped everywhere. Okay? All right, so now let me take one of my hot pads. So cooking with tea. Soon you will be able to buy our products. So let me take the cabbage, which is cooled. Set it off to the side. Okay, the cabbage is ready. 
Now, let me get my stove here. Let's get it on high. Now, when we're talking about cooking with love, I was looking for my skillet. This is love. This right here is love, y'all. Uh, this brings back so many memories. My sisters and my friends know I cry at any time, but I'm not going to cry today. This is love. This black skillet. This, is, this was my grandmother's, this was our grandmother's mother's skillet. I still have it. I still use it. People are always asking, well, how uh, does your food taste a certain way, you know, when you're cooking? Because we cook with love. I may have to put this on the stove, but we're going to start it here first. Because I haven't tried it uh, with my cast iron, and so I don't know. Uh, Maria said, is that a portable stove? Yes, it is a portable stove. Uh, you can purchase, if you're looking for one, you can purchase those on Amazon.com. Oh, yeah, it's getting hot. I just need it to be real hot to do this corn. So I may have to switch and do it uh, on my stove instead of on this portable. You can buy them and they are uh, electric or you can buy them, um, I think, with butane or something like that. And so that way you can use them like if you're at the park, um, anytime, you know, you're outdoors, you can use those type. Or if you have a generator, you know, you'll be able to uh, use those you know, uh, electric ones. Uh, so Teresa says a must have, I have two of them. Oh, listen, I, this is my first one and I am in love with it. I need to find out about the ones that, you know, you can add the brutane tanks to them, uh, and see, because we like going to the beach and we enjoy going to the park. And so that would be, you know, something good to have. I'm just trying to make sure it's getting hot. Cause like I said, I haven't used so, Teresa, have you used a cast iron skillet uh, on yours before? Because this is my first time using the cast iron. I've used the other pots that I did my uh, cabbage in, but I have never used my cast iron. So, Teresa, if you're still with us, let me know. So, I'm adding some butter, unsalted butter uh, to it. Like I said, we don't measure. I just want some butter in here because we need something instead of uh, using vegetable oil. Uh, I want to use unsalted butter so let me get another spoon because like I said you all will soon be able to buy uh, soul cooking with teas products this is just one of them we'll also have our t-shirts going to be available uh, we are working on getting our wooden, wooden spoons because as you notice a lot of times when I'm cooking uh, I use a lot of wooden spoons because that I don't have to worry about scarring up my pots or my wooden pan, my wooden skillets, because that is something you do not want to do. Okay, so it's getting hot. I just need it to get real hot so that we can fry this corn. So if you have any questions, she said the gas works better. Oh, okay, the gas uh, portable uh, stove works better. Is that what you're saying, Teresa? Um, like I said, I just need this to get hot hot because I need to, to fry my corn uh, if you have any questions please put them in the comments and then uh, I'll make sure to answer them so yes like I said we are getting our products ready this is just one of our um, she said yes the gas works better okay so this is you can see hopefully you can see a little bit uh, this is our um, hot pads listen I grew up in the kitchen. I'm from the south, as I say many times. And so we use hot pads. And I remember I was um, at an event and I asked someone, hello, hello, and welcome. Welcome, Linda Thomas. I asked someone, did they have a hot pad? They kind of looked at me like I was crazy. And I was like, you know, the thing you hold your pots with, oh, a towel. No, I need a hot pad. I grew up on a hot pad. I grew, grew up on a trivet. And it's a trivet is something you sit in the, they have it on the counter, have it on the stove. And you can sit your pots and pans on it. Okay, it's getting hot now. And that just keeps everything uh, from scarring your counter. Okay, I need it to be hot, hot. So I may have to switch over uh, to my stove. I just want to see a little bit before I start, guys. Because I do not want it to uh, mess up my corn. Listen, I got to have my corn got to be right. You know, as a southern, when you're cooking and something don't go right, listen, we have options. 
So if one thing, when you're frying and you may be outside and that oil does not get hot like you want to, listen, we will take that pot <laughs> and we will go inside and put it on that stove so that it can get hot. So I'm just trying to see which I may have to switch over uh, to the stove. So just let me walk away for one second to see if I can get my stove set up. Let's see. Because we gotta have this corn has to be correct, guys. We cannot have corn and it not cook right. It's got to fry just like we need it to fry. So, okay. So let me switch everything around, guys. Okay, so just give me a few minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sign off where I can set up over by the stoves that you, that you all can see uh, me cooking the corn because this is not getting hot as I need it to get as hot as I need because that skillet needs to be so hot that when you put the corn in, the butter in, it starts to sizzle. So I'm just going to, yes, that's what I'm going to do, put it on the stove. And so, but you know, I had to try it, had to see if it would work or not. And so if you all would just give me just a few minutes, I'm going to sign off and then I'll sign back on so we can get, I can reset up everything so that you can see me frying the corn on the stove. Again, thank you all for joining me here live in Soul Cooking with Tea. I'm Tawana Carlton, your host of Soul Cooking with, with Tea. I'm just a girl living her dream in this big uh, city here on the West Coast. So I'm going to sign off. Thank you all for joining Soon as I sign back on, come on back on so that you can see me frying my southern corn. Have an amazing day.